One thing we could do to help speed up the process of swapping between brushes and pencils as we traditionally animate our work is the use of tool presets. Mine is currently showing here at the top, but I can right click if yours is not showing and go down to tool presets. Make sure yours is checked off. It looks like a little brush with a plus next to it as well as a gear. So the first thing we can do is we can take our rough brush here that I created with a texture and I have this blue I like to use that's associated with that rough brush. We can make a tool preset out of that so that every time I select this brush it will automatically select that blue. So I can do that by clicking our new tool preset which brings up this dialog box. It brings us gives us the opportunity to name it so I will name it roughs and then I can change its icon by clicking here. There's a couple of default ones. I'm just going to click the blue one. You can click this little folder here and find your own personal one that you may have created. We can go down to the color and make sure it's, that is checked off. And that means that every time I use this tool, this tool preset, it will remember that particular color pot. And it is a tool. And the 25 is telling us the point value over here in our tool properties. I'm going to hit OK and you'll see that the brush pops up here in the top. And we can go to our cleanup and our cleanup color and we'll add that into our tool presets. I'll hit the little plus and we'll call this cleanup. And we'll change this to this gray one here and we'll make sure this color is checked off. If we check it, if we uncheck this box, it will save this tool preset with no color associated with it. I will hit yes. I want that particular cleanup color pot associated with this preset. I'm going to hit OK. So now every time I click on my two presets up here, it will remember my rough. And if I hover over top of it and let it hover, you'll see the tooltip appear rough. It's the same thing for the other one. If I hover, it'll say cleanup. And if I click on my tool preset, it will automatically select my rough brush that I made and it will select the color and we'll go through and rough rough in a character here just very something very simple very basic and we'll just give him some hair there we go Ta -da. There's our little guy. And when we're ready to clean him up, I'll make a new layer. Clean up. And I'll go up to my tool preset and I'll click on clean up and it will automatically select my cleanup brush as well as the, oops, my cleanup color pot that I have associated with it. Okay, and in the interest of time, we'll wrap this guy up and I will show the next, let's change that a little bit, let's change that amount. Okay, so now his eyes I did not do. So if I go to the cleanup brush and if I bump it up to let's just say 60, let's see how that looks. It's a nice fat line. It's a consistent fat line. I can use that value as a new tool preset so that every time I go to clean up his eyes, I don't have to manually change in the 60 or make another brush. I can use the exact same brush. I can go up to new tool preset. I'll call this clean up eyes and I'll just make this yellow and we'll have it remember that color and I'll hit OK. So now when I hover over, there it is, clean up eyes. If I click on that, it will remember that I bumped up my brush to a 60 and I can consistently make two, two lines that are the desired size of, the, of his pupils. So we can update our tool presets here by clicking our little gear, pulls up our manage tool presets. And you can see these are the ones I just created and it allows us to go through and change the name if we renamed it incorrectly or if we want to, we can update the color. So I can 
pick my red, let's just say red, and if I hit update, it will change it now to red, or I can uncheck it and hit done, and now no color will be associated with it. We can change our icon if we wish. We can change that to red, since now it's red. And you can see it's automatically updating up here as well. It's also giving us the option to delete presets. If I delete this, it will not delete the brush from our settings over here. We can also import and export our tool presets so we can share them to other other members of our team. So we can export this. If I hit export, I will go to my desktop and just hit select the folder. And what it will do is it will create, you just saw it create right there. The icons, tool preset icons folder will have any, well, any icons that you may have created, any um, custom icons you may have created. And it also creates tool presets XML and that is what you would use to import go to import on another machine you would go to find you would go to public and just hit select folder and it there it just pulled in the same exact ones I just made it brought in duplicates but again we can clean it up just deleting the ones we don't need and that will just about wrap it up for tool presets I will see you guys in the next video